Now, many times we are going to be merging a data, right? Many times we have seen that a client might give a data in very weird way. Now, what is a weird way of giving a data? Let's see, right? A client have given you a data in this way where you find that the client has given you a data based on month wise, right? Say, for example, for April 22, the, the detail is this, May is this, Feb is this. Now, you have multiple ways to collate this data out. One is that what you can do, you can just go to each and every sheet and now you can pull this data out and paste it one below another, right? You can do that. That is one of the way. But in Excel, I'm going to be teaching you how to use a power query and within a minute, you can merge this entire data. How big the data is doesn't matter, right? If you're watching this video, definitely you'll be able to get a file in the description, right? And also if those are students, right, you can also get it, this file in my course section. Now let us see how you're going to be merging this data within a second. You can see all the data month wise, which is given to us. Now, the first thing which you need to see is that key, what are the number of ro rows and the columns, which is there. Now, first of all, ensure that all the headings which are there are on a consistent line, right? If it is not on a consistent line, definitely it is not going to be merging in a proper way. Although we can merge it out using a power query by changing out the details out. But let's see this out whether all the headings are proper, right? I can see this out. All the headings have a 13, uh, 13 count, right? The next thing what you need to do is that if you want to merge it out, open a new Excel sheet, right? You can open it by pressing control N. Now, next thing what you need to do is go to data tab, get data from file, right? So what we are trying to do, we are get, trying to merge a file, which is in the Excel format. I am just clicking on from Excel workbook. The time you click here, right? Let us select the base file, which was there. So revenue client from PBC was a file. Let me click on import. After you click on import, it's going to be loading. Data is going to be loaded, right? And it is going to be giving you a option. Now there are ways you can use it out, but uh, you can select any of the tab, which is there. Say for example, April, August, whichever month you want to select it out, not a problem. Right. Or there is also option to select multiple ways, but I would prefer let's stick to one. You can select any of the months. Say for example, let me select the month August. The time you select the month August, the next thing which you need to do is that click on a transform data, right? The time you click here, you'll be able to get the entire data have been loaded for the month of August in the power query. Okay. If you could see this out, this is a tab for a power query. Now, many of you might feel worried. Oh my God, what is this power query? It looks very tough. Not a simple. It's very, it's very simple out. Nothing to worry. I'm there to guide you out. Now see how I'm going to be merging the data within a second. The next thing which you need to do is that remove all the unnecessary things. Only thing which is going to be needed is the source. So I'm just going to be removing all these things out because I just need a source in my file. Once you have removed this, right? Once you have removed this, you'll be able to see all the months which are there, right? Can you see all these months which are there? You'll be able to see this month out. Next thing what I need is that I need a data, right? Which is there in the form of a table for all the, all the files. I need to remove the unnecessary column and I just need to keep the first two columns, which is there. I'll just remove the unnecessary column, which is there. I'll right click remove columns. The time I remove this out, can you see this arrow, which is there? Just one thing which you need to do is just click here. The time you click here, you'll be able to get a details of all the 13 columns. Can you see this out? A column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Click on okay. Right. The time you click on okay, right. Your all the data have been loaded, which was there in a different, different sheet and a different, different files, which are there. Now, one thing, which is the problem here is that the first column is also going to be considered here. Now, what I need to do, I need to consider the first column as a heading. Now, what I'll do, I'll just select the first row, right. For the month of April. And I'll say that use first row as a header. The time it is done, right. It's going to be converting the first row as a header for all the data out. And I just need to rephrase it as month. After that is done, right? After that is done, I need to remove the unnecessary headers which are there or the repetitive headers which are there. So what I'll do, I'll just click on filter and I'll remove the entity which is coming every time from the data source. Just click here and then press OK. The time you do this out, your entire data is collated in a proper way in the by using a Power Query. Now, what I need to do, I just need to see this data in Excel. So what you need to do, close and load. The time you do this out, you'll be able to see a magic within a second. It's loading and it's loaded. Bang gone, done. Within a second, you're able to merge this files out, right? So this is something which you can do within a second. And trust me, it is going to be saving you a hell lot of time. Now, the data was very less. That is why you feel like, yeah, this is something which can be done easily. But 
the time data is going to be increasing it's going to be saving your hell lot of time try this out and just let me know in the comment section how did you find this video out and do let me know if you need any such more videos out on any of the excel shortcut formulas